Socialite Production, where we are connecting the world through faith, culture, and entertainment. <laughs> I'm messing with Obi. But I am excited. I am excited. I am excited. As you all can see, I have three handsome and one beautiful. No, excuse me. Let me say that again. I have two handsome and one beautiful. Actually, two beautiful. Yeah. Two beautiful Liberian influentials. I call them young Liberian influentials, and we'll talk to each of them individually so you can, you know, get to know them a little bit. But before we start, I just want to set up what the conversation is about today. So a few weeks ago, we did a conversation around Pepe Dim Summer, right? But we never really bring in the young adults to talk about their perspective of being Liberian, of July takeover of all the activities we have going on. So today, you guys are in for a special treat. Before we go into that, I'm going to do a quick introduction of myself for those who may not know me. My name is Janet Coppin. I am the creator and founder of A Socialite Production. Um, as it relates to me, I'm a first-generation Liberian American. So this platform deals with a lot of culture on both sides of the spectrum, American and Liberian. July, we're going overboard with Liberia, so sorry, not sorry, right? <laughs> but I am a connector, I'm an influential, I am a community builder, and I am an investor. So a socialite production, our mission is connecting the world through faith, culture, and entertainment. How do we do that? By way of authentic storytelling, which you're going to hear today from these handsome and beautiful <laughs> individuals here. Well, as it relates to faith, we are influencing culture through the foundation of faith, starting with my faith. Um, for culture, we're bridging the gap in culture with authentic stories. And in entertainment, we're telling stories through media and production to entertain y'all and also educate you guys. As it, relates to, to, as it relates to today, I am going to start off the introductions with one-on-one -on -one conversations with each of them just so you can get an isolated view of each personality, each character, each perspective. And then I'm gonna bring all of them back and we just wanna vibe and have a conversation. Y'all ready? Y'all yeah. ready? So before we separate to do the one-on-ones, just real quick, introduce yourself by way of your name, where you're from and what your age is, starting with Sly. <laughs> My name is Sandra Yates. Everybody call me Sly. I'm from Charlotte, North Carolina. Both my parents from Liberia. And that's it, all right. Miss, miss. My name is Dursu Musu Sydney Yates. I'm 16 years old. Both my parents are from Liberia. My mom is crew and my father is high. Okay, you better give this to me. <laughs> all right, Mr. Ovi. My name is Christian Obina Agu. Mm -hmm. I am, I was born in Charlotte. I was raised by my mother, which is Liberian, and my father, which is Nigerian. And I love it. So you have a first generation Liberian, Nigerian, filled with so much culture and personality, and you're gonna see that in a few minutes, right? <laughs> All right. All right, so we're gonna start off with Mr. Obi, and real quick, Obi, you forgot to tell the people how old you are. I am 12 years old. 12 years old, so did you just turn 12 or will you be turning 13 soon? I just turned 12 March 14th. You just turned 12. So are you excited about entering into teenage? Yeah. That's what I'm really hoping for. That's what you're really hoping for? Why? What's the difference between 12 and 13? I feel like when I get like a teenager, I don't know, it's not going to be a difference, but when I, I feel like when I get a teenager, I feel like I'm going to be like growing a little bit. you going to be what? A little grown. A little grown? <laughs> you ain't grown till you pay bills, boo. But I get it. <laughs> I get it. I get it. I get it. I remember that age. All right. So, Obi, this is what I want you to do. It's a series of questions I'm going to ask, but I'm going to feed it to you one by one. The first one is, I want you to tell the people who you are. And when I say, who, who are you, who is Obi, you're telling them, you're describing your personality, your character, your heart, you know, traits that make you uniquely who you are. Tell the people who you are. As I said before, my name is Krishna Obina Agu. <laughs> and I am a 
joyful person. I like to make everybody feel welcome, feel happy. And I go to school. I'm going to the seventh grade. Mm -hmm. And I play saxophone and I'm a good dancer. Now let me ask, what accent was that? Was that Nigerian? Was that Liberian? Was that a blend? A blend. It was a blend. So what do you what do you title the blend of the Nigerian and Liberian? Nigerian. <laughs> I'm sorry. So you played the you played the saxophone? Yes. Did you bring it so we can hear it? Nah. Yeah, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, man. I'm sorry. All right. So you already told the people where you were from. Um, did you tell them you, where you were born? I was born in Charlotte. Charlotte. Charlotte, but you are a Nigerian and a Liberian, but you were pretty much raised as a Liberian, Liberian yes. right? Okay, and so as it relates to being raised as a Liberian, um, how was that? Oh, it was really nice. I got to eat some good food. I, I heard good music, and then they helped me dance, learn by many people, mm -hmm. in many ways. So. So what I meant, and I should have been more specific, living in both worlds, right? Like between America and uh, Liberia. So for instance, for me, I'm a first generation Liberian American, right? Growing up in my house, it was all things African. We didn't have a choice, right? At school, you have to figure out, okay, I'm American, but I'm, you know, you had to kind of figure out the balance. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, as we talked about the other day, repping your culture, so communicating your culture and who you are to your friends, that's what I want you to address. How is that balance? It's valid because as I am, I like to share it out. So me being American and not Liberian, mixed with a little bit of Nigerian, well, Nigerian, mm -hmm. I get to express that with people and myself to show that that is what I am. So you're not shy to talk about your culture? No. So that's that's really good. That's really good. And I think it's even easier for you guys now because the culture is more accepted since Wakanda. I think I saw you doing it. Yeah. <laughs> so you got it you got it a little easier, but um no, that's still good because not every kid will talk about their culture. So what do you do? And I know you say you play the saxophone. I know you're not working, right? But what do you do when you're in school, not in school? What are the, the activities that you like to do? I already know one of them, but I'll let you you, you tell me. In school, when I'm in school learning, trying mm -hmm. to just bring up, uh -huh. and, and as I said, play saxophone, I'm really good at it. Mm -hmm. And out of school, I'm um, like just have fun, play a little bit of football, not as a sport, but like mm -hmm. have fun. Mm -hmm. And when it's coming to party, dance. Yeah, you have to dance, so you're gonna do a little something at the end. You're yeah. go, oh, you uh -huh. said, yeah, okay, all right. So, if you could be a Liberian dish, and you know, unfortunately, this is about Liberia, so I'm not gonna ask you about Nigerian food. We got the best, best jello fries anyway. I don't know. Uh, okay, so you know, you know. <laughs> but as it relates to Liberian dishes, right? I guess I'm gonna ask you two questions. What is your favorite dish? And if you could be a Liberian dish, whether it's the one that's your favorite or not, what would it be and why? How would you describe yourself as that dish? I would say my favorite dish, my favorite dish is cassava leaf. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> and then I would say my, like, if I could be a dish, it would be two dishes. I'm sorry. Okay. I would be two dishes, fufu and pepe soup. Well, that's, that's one, you know, because you yeah. eat it together. So, so why would you be fufu and pepe soup? So fufu, everybody loves me. Everybody loves fufu. Everybody loves fufu. Everybody. Okay. And I'm soft. I, I don't, I'm not hard. I'm not like tough. So I would say I'm not strong that much. You're not strong. What do you I mean? say, okay, okay. Hold on. I'm not, I'm, I don't fight. Like I'm more of, uh, say, a calm person. That's true. If you can, if you can compose yourself in heated situations, to me, that's more strength than the person that's going off because you're composing yourself. So I get the, I get the description of you being soft, but that doesn't mean you're soft. Do you, do you understand? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. We're gonna bring that back around when your brother come on because I'm sure he has something to add. But finish, finish. So that's why you said foo foo because you don't fight. And then the pepper soup, mm -hmm. pecan, your pinky is spicy. Yeah. So you you soft, you calm, but you got the pepper. Yeah. So it's an equal balance. Yeah. <laughs> so what makes you spicy? Spicy, spicy. Yeah. Okay. So more of the. Say it again. I'm unique. Mm -hmm. uh, I got like, I God gave me a gift. I feel like. 
well, he gave me, I have to show it out. So mm. me being spicy, I can show it to other people. And when you say spicy, because you move and there ain't no music on, you talking about dancing? You yeah. talking about just your flavor? You talking about your vibe in the room? What is what what is it? And I think you described yourself as a leader, right? Yeah. What makes you a leader? So real quick, what is a leader? A leader is somebody that can guide other people to like not to their goals because they got their own goals, but like a leader is somebody that can be an influencer to other people. All right. So how are you a leader? When I'm a leader, every time I go to a party, well, it's an example. Every time I go to a party, people ask me. Oh, you need to teach me the how you dance. <laughs> that is it. Yeah, you need to teach me how you dance, please. And then I'm like, wow, I'm dancing good. So mm -hmm. me showing people how I can dance, that's me being a leader to other people so they can see how I'm dancing and making them feel good. All right. All right. So I, I think y'all got a little bit of his, his heart, especially I'm glad we, we, we did a description of the food because I like how you bridge that together as it relates to who you are. And you, you may be soft in some ways, meaning you're kind, you're caring, you're considerate, but don't get it twisted. When that spice comes, right? All right, all right. Is there anything you want to say before we go to the next person? I would say, like, for me, like, advice, keep moving. Mm. Don't let uh, things bring you down. You might think that something is going to be in your obstacle, but no, you can just move through it. That's why he's a leader. That's why he said he's gonna be grown when he turned 13, because he got wisdom. Thank you, Obi. Can I have a hug? Aww. <laughs> you warmed up now? Okay. Okay, so now I have the beautiful Miss Musu. I forgot her other name, but she'll say it if you'll correct me. But no. Hello again, Musu. How are you? I'm good. You good. I know you're not shy. <laughs> you know what they're gonna continue to warm up but i'm 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 just really appreciative of you guys um being willing to do this because i know this is a lot so thank you but first let's introduce yourself to the people so first i want you to tell everyone who you are meaning describe your characteristics your heart traits whatever you want them to know about miss musu okay ways to describe me i would say i'm an energetic person and I like to learn from other people and add it to my life to make myself a better person. And I like to reflect. Um, yeah. mm -hmm. So you like to reflect. Um, how would you describe your personality? Did you describe that? I don't think you touched on that. Uh, energetic. Oh, yeah, you did say energetic. Okay. You said your, who's crew? My mom. Your mom. So do you have a little pepper? <laughs> Obi said he has that pepper, the spice from the soup. So. Where are you from? I know, you, of course, Liberia, that's where your parents were born. Um, but where were you raised? In Charlotte. In Charlotte. Do you like Charlotte? Yeah. What do you like about Charlotte? I like the city. I like the different stores and the parties and activities. To do. Activities. And we say activities, is that like at school, within the community, all around? School. Uh, everything okay so you're active yeah. okay nobody. so i'm just asking these questions so they can kind of get to know a little bit more so what do you do and i know you don't wait do you work i'm sorry no, I don't work. you don't work so as it relates to activities or just what you may do around the house or whatever what what is it that you do well right now like since my junior year i just started doing new things mm -hmm. so i signed up for like different leadership programs and stuff like that and i'm trying out for a volleyball Okay, alright. So I have a lot of things planned for my junior year so far. So leadership program. So I asked Obi if he's a leader. Do you see yourself as a leader or you're coming into a leader? Yeah, I see myself as a leader. What makes you a leader? I like to guide people, give them instructions. Or not like a tyrant, but more so as a navigator. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. like a mentor mm -hmm. too. Okay, I love it. I don't even know if I used that word leader when I was young. I mean, I, I, I believe I was a leader, but I didn't recognize it as that. So that's, that's really impressive. Um, you do something else um, as it relates to in your free time. I, I remember seeing that's why I like to have a conversation for the conversation because I already know. What else do you like to do? I like to write. Uh -huh. <laughs> what do you like to write? Stories. <laughs> 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 So um, you like to write. What are some of the things you like to write? My thoughts. I like to collect my thoughts on paper. It has helped me organize it better. So you like to journal pretty mm -hmm. much. Yeah. 
in addition to that, do you feel like you're writing like things that can be published eventually, like short stories, movies, or it's just no, it's just thoughts. Just thoughts. Do you think the thoughts are visions of like what you can be and what you can do? Yes. Okay. All right. All right. And do you ever go back and read it or kind of? Yeah, I form? go back and read it and see how it changes. Mm, look at you. That's so, it. Okay. So now I'm going to get to the dish, Liberian food. Do any of y'all can't assume that every Liberian likes Liberian food. Do you like Liberian food? Yeah. Dumb question, right? I just still have to ask. <laughs> so two-part question. What is your favorite Liberian dish? Second question. If you could be any Liberian dish, what would you be and why? My favorite? Because I would be. Yeah, because I would be always win. <laughs> if I could be a dish, because I would be. So why would you be cassava? Like the different meats inside of it, like the crab, got the shrimp, got the beef, and it's just like an assortment of different things. Mm. And I like that. I feel like I'm like a And it makes it a nice, sweet, healthy pot yeah. of, and that's where you are. Mm -hmm. I, I believe that. I believe that. So is there anything you want to leave the people with before I move on to slide? No. Nothing? No. You sure? I'm good. Okay, well, thank you. You gotta give me a hug too. All right, <laughs> that was good. All right, last but not least, we have Mr. Sunga Yates, aka Sly. Now, first, actually, let me ask, where does Sly come from? The um, name? That's actually my initials. So, my name is Sunga Lawrence Yates, and Sly, my initials. Look at that. I thought it had something to do with being like just that's like true. a vibe. And smooth, you know what I mean? Y'all see him? He's just so fly, but if you know his dad and you know why, excuse me, his dad and his mom, you know why he's fly like this. So sly, fly, I'm just saying it rhymes. <laughs> I'm being corny, sorry. Anyway, so we're going to start off. Yeah, of course, you heard, but I'm still going to say it again. We're going to introduce yourself to the people, right? First, we're going to start with tell them who you are, meaning your character, your heart, traits about you that you would like to share. My name is Sly. I'm a very fun person, caring, laid back, down to earth type of person. Yes. Uh, let me see if something else he missed. No, he summed it up pretty well. So, uh, of course, you are Liberian due to your parents, your first generation. You you were born and raised in Charlotte as well, right? Okay. So, what high school did you go to? I went to I went to two high schools. I went to North Mecklenburg High School from ninth grade to eleventh grade year. Mm -hmm. And my senior year, I went to Vans High School. In both schools, did you play football or that was just Vans? I played football at both. Schools. At both, and I, I I believe you were pretty good, right? Not were, but yeah, were at that time, right? Okay. And then you played it in college or currently playing in college, right? So what school? What college do you go to? I go to Lenore Ryan University. It's a Hickory North mm -hmm. Carolina. I'm entering my junior year. Yes. And what position you play? I play wide receiver. Wide receiver. That's the person who catches the ball. Okay. Ball. We might need you for the Panthers. Let me stop. Let me that I'm gonna edit that out. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So what do you do outside of school? So I know of course you're on summer summer break, but typically outside of school or in school, what do you do? Honestly, since like Ninth grade, everything been the same. Like football, once you get to like high school, football become year round. So like, oh, I really okay. play football a lot out of high school. Trying to really stay out of trouble, so I just stay with my friends. We mm -hmm. play football a lot. Chill, mm -hmm. at, chill at home. Uh, we make music too. You you make music or do you rap or you rap. do both? You rap. You do rap. Yeah, rap. Well, I mean you making music too, but I'm just trying to figure out what part. So do you write? Nah, it's on like we call it punch in. Like you just go in the studio and just like think of what you got to say and just say put it out yeah. that's dope how many of you do that it's just how well, whoever want to show up y'all be in there wow <laughs> i know y'all can already see it is it recorded like video where people can watch nah, not yet not yet we got some visuals coming soon but not yet yeah i think that's going to be dope i think that's going to be dope so i'm not even going to ask you i'm just going to say yes you like liberian food too right all right. I so, didn't used to actually. What? Now, when I was younger, I didn't used to like eating African food. You didn't like any African food? Nah. I'm sorry. <laughs> what are y'all doing? <laughs> we, <laughs> we can address that when y'all come up. You were not born. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait. Let's, let's, y'all please stop. All right. 
So you didn't like any African food? Why? Like that just, I was like American. Like, I was oh. Really American when I was younger, that's not really what I wanted to do. You were really American in the African household, yeah. and you got away with that. They used to try to force me to eat it, but like that wasn't really gonna make me eat. Got you. So like, I had to grow into it, and I like it. Now you like it. Okay. So then, what is your favorite Liberian dish? And then, if you could be a Liberian dish, what would it be and why? I feel like my favorite, my favorite Liberian dish is palau Mmm, that's a good one. You like it with rice or fufu? Or rice. rice. I don't really like it. Oh, you don't like fufu. <laughs> Wait, why you like food? Because you gotta swallow it, that too. I, I feel like it don't give me food. Like it's, it's like some. I think it's psychological. Cause yeah. fufu can make your stomach swell, but you know to eat to eat your stomach. But I, I feel you. It's kind of like me. If I don't eat rice with food, I don't feel like I have eaten. Like I need something to kind of weigh me down. And then what dish would you be uh, if if you could be a Liberian dish and why? I feel like I just be people I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> It's, for those who aren't Liberian, it's palava sauce. Y'all know the culture term of sauce, what that means. Slide, fly, sauce. <laughs> I'm just saying. But why you think, <laughs> why would you be palava sauce? I'll be palava sauce because I feel like it's not too sweet, it's not too sour, it's not too like spicy, it's just perfect in the middle. You're right. It does have like a, it's not a bland taste, but it, it's not as... Yeah. It's hard to explain, but that's good. So it's that's like a very distinct taste from all the. It really like, is. It really is. Soups, like. And it's really smooth. Like it, you don't. It doesn't require a lot of work to eat it. Okay, look at you. I love the analogies with the food. So, is there anything you want to leave the people with before we bring everybody back on? Nah. No, nothing. No shout outs. No. Shout out, Tila. That's my twin. T-Law. See, that's another one of uh, our babies, even though I know you're not a baby anymore. T-Law. Okay. You just going to shout out T-Law all over people that didn't forget it? Nah, shout out Tribe. Shout out Tribe. So real quick, <clears throat> why did you choose to shout out T-Law by himself, but then Tribe all together, grouping everybody else together? Yeah, I remember one time I graduated. And I was trying, I'm not really good at shout out. Mm -hmm. So, you know, at graduation, you gotta get a speech for everybody. Mm -hmm. So, T Law was behind the camera. And, like, he right in my face. I'm shouting everybody out. Like, literally everybody. everybody. Out. And then I, I was done. <laughs> he came up to me and was like, oh, you're not gonna shout Oh, out. you're in trouble. So I, and that's I, like I, your I, brother, I, pretty I, much, I, right? So, to me. all right. Well, shout out to T Law. Out to I me. may have you on soon. We'll see. We'll yeah, see. <laughs> So real quick, just for clarity of those who don't know, what's the sign for tribe? Y'all sign? Tribe. Okay, and why do you call why do y'all call y'all it's a group of friends and cousins, right? Why do you guys call yourself tribe? Is it kind of related to African tribe or is this tribe? It is like a, it's basically like a group of us, but it's like tribe, you know, there, there's tribes in like Africa. Mm -hmm. Like that's like your little clique or your little community. Right. But yeah, it's just a group of young Liberians. It's some Nah, I feel like everybody in that Liberian, but I think it's a group of young Liberian, mm -hmm. young Liberians, we just coming together. Like, a lot of us make music too, a lot of us do a lot of stuff in common, mm -hmm. so like, come on. <laughs> a lot of us do a lot of stuff in common, so it's like, yeah, yeah. they just named it Tribe. It was, it started with like Abdul, that's my super big brother. Yes. Um, T-Law, they made it when they was in like high school, I was younger. I was oh, so it's a generational thing. Yeah. So who's the current leader of Tribe? I don't feel like there's no leader, but it's like an original tribe. I feel like as we got older, like the Liberians, like the young Liberians in the community was like fond of the tribe. So like they wanted to join. That was some something they wanted to That's do. That's dope. So y'all so yeah, have y'all own community. And you said it's big. Like how many people? Probably like 25. See, we're we going to get into this when we start talking, but this is my whole point of community. And oftentimes, if the younger people don't feel seen or they just need an outlet, they don't create their own. I'm, I'm just saying, but that's pretty dope. Thank you for that. I didn't know all that. Thank you for that. All right. <laughs> so these, all, all three of them, they are talented. They are creators. They are musicians. Do y'all want to give them a little snippet of the song y'all just made up on the fly, for a slide? <laughs> Who wanna start out? You wanna start? It's literally, they just made this song up. It is hot. Follow our sauce. Follow our sauce.
celebrate our independence July 26 right but we don't just celebrate on that day we literally celebrate throughout the month of July with different activities and so July we, we refer to it as July takeover because we're just taking over the month with just all things Liberian but it's also Pepe them summer so for those who don't know what Pepe them mean I want your interpretation of Pepe them I don't know who want to go first but what do you think in, in two, one quick, I mean not two, real quick. In the African culture, especially Liberian culture, peppering somebody can be punishment. I'm not talking about the form of punishment, right? I'm talking about like hot pepper. And there's a song that goes along with it. What does pepper them mean to you, any one of you? To represent the culture. To represent the culture? Okay, what about you, Sly? I would say that same thing. Like the ways you embrace your culture in like your own way. Mm-hmm. What about you, Obi? The same thing. The same thing. The same thing. Okay. Yeah. So Pepperdam, the Liberian Association, uh, the publicity team came up with, it. and it's just a term to describe just doing it, whatever it is. So whether you're dancing, whether you're writing, whatever, whether you're just chilling in the room and your vibe is just radiating, that's all pepper in them. Them who's them. That's anybody that's in the room to feel it, right? So we're gonna, this conversation is based off that, more so of community and Liberian independence and then just these individuals' perspective on what it means to be Liberian and grow up and represent the culture. And so I'm gonna start with Mr. Sly. I'm gonna start with Otis. I ain't, I ain't gonna put you on the spot yet. Next question is gonna be on you. But Sly, as it relates to you and your personality, Mr. Palavasar. <laughs> All right, Sly, so tell the people how are you representing the culture, a.k.a. Sly, because you are the culture, right? So how are you peppering them this summer? I feel like I'm peppering them by just embracing the culture every chance I get, um, supporting people throughout the culture, um, just being myself, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's you. And that's that's you. I, I think a part of that, too, is your tribe. Yeah, yeah. Because y'all yeah. definitely represent the culture. Some, we're trying to get into the Afro beats world, trying to make some more like songs in that way. Gotcha. Yeah, that's that's another thing. Well, I think you have an opportunity with, with what was created here. I, I am not playing. <laughs> but if y'all make a song out of that, I need credit because y'all did it on this platform. Yeah, you say. <laughs> so one other way. So last year, and um, Ob, he's a dancer. Everybody knows he's a dancer. It's no secret. Like he just does it, right? This one over here, I had no clue. But last year, a video he made went viral. Can you talk about that? And how were you representing your culture in that video? Uh, I was dancing in the trailer video to a song called My 26 on You. Who is it? It's about you know also. Mm -hmm. That's one of my friends. He in trial too. Yes. So yeah, we were just dancing, making a like, it's like we wanted to really be like an anthem for like the 26th day. So like we were just having fun. Mm -hmm. I'm comfortable around them boys, so I can like do Let more loose. stuff that I wouldn't do around yes. anybody else around them. So I need you to still send me that video because it's gonna be a part of this, Mr. Palava. <laughs> 
<laughs> Thank you for that. Anything else you want to add? You good? Okay. All right. Who wants to go next? Since oh, well, excuse me. So tell the people how you are peppering them this this summer. Meaning, how are you representing the culture, aka OB? Dancing. Dancing. Straight up dancing. Straight up. And then my nice outfits and like this. The socks. This is a saucy attitude, right? <laughs> but dancing, how does that look? Where do you dance? Oh, I'm sorry, you weren't finished. Go ahead. No, that's it. So dancing, we know, but tell the people what kind of dancing you do and where. So, really, I dance. I got my Liberian dance, my Nigerian dance, and I do any kind of dance. You like, I'll just try it out. Mm -hmm. I like, I'll try it, and then I'll put my mom to it until I'm finished. And then I got that little bit of American dance, like popular dance, mm -hmm. and I do that. Yeah, the hips. Yeah. Okay, all right. And, then, yeah, and what's the dance your brother was doing on the video? What was the dance he was doing? Oh, 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 hey, hey. <laughs> no, just do it with your hands. You were doing it just now before the. Eh, 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 eh. Okay. But specifically, you've been featured. Every year you're featured, but you are specifically featured in a music video. Oh, yeah. Okay. I mean, you, how, how you gonna be that out? Yeah. Okay, what was that about? So I was offered to do a music video with my auntie, Miss Oga Musu, mm -hmm. and she uh, really helped me out, show myself, because she asked me to do the music video. <laughs> And I need you to send me that because that's when you're part of this. Okay, video. can I can I say the video name? Yeah, of course. Okay, the uh, video is A of D Ancient of Days by Oga Musu. Oh, it's actually on YouTube, right? Yeah. And it's a gospel song. Yes. Yeah, but it, it's it's dope the way they did it. Did you guys shoot that in Charlotte? Yeah. Okay. And then well, I was in Charlotte, I couldn't travel because it was school weekend. So. Oh, so they and then she went to New York. Okay. Dope. And so you also dance slash perform somewhere else yearly. Okay. Yeah. Okay, you gotta. You gotta. You gotta shout out your people, that man. Whole, that whole business, like you say, my business. Okay. Oh, uh, <laughs> you wanna be talented? Okay. <laughs> okay, so I business. Also, See, he think he's thirteen already. He think he grown. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay, so I dance with a choir, the African community choir. <laughs> Take him to practice, so you just you just found your way up, up in the choir. One more place, one more place, one more place. Every year, the Grand March in the park. Talk about that. How you just shut the whole thing down. Yeah. I get to the girl March. I make sure I get a partner. I like to dance with my sister. She's a, she, 
She good dancer too. I ain't gonna lie. No, oh, so she like fly yeah. undercover. Yeah, okay, so okay. I like to try to get her to be my partner. Then we would go mm-hmm. to grandma watch that would come out, and I'm doing my dance. He <laughs> shuts it down. If he goes, then there's no point in continuing. So it's now becoming a tradition. All right. So that's how you pep it in through yes. your dance moves. All right. Now, Miss Musu, how are you peppering them? Ooh, I'm going to be attending all the parties. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, because I also like to dance, like, especially, well, at school, we had this culture day, and I would do it since, like, freshman year. Culture day? Yeah. Okay. School. And, of course, I had to represent, like, there would be a group chat with me and the other African girls. And we, I love it. And we do a performance. I that. And we have my last year. My freshman year was better, but okay. So like at school, the first culture day in my freshman year, like the decorations was better, but the performance for sophomore year, it was better. It was better. Have you guys seen her perform? Not no, not yet. It would make you nervous. I seen, I seen, I seen the dance. Yeah, like, dance. dance. I haven't seen the school. Stuff. So you, do you have any videos of you dancing? Yeah. So you gonna send me that too, so I can. If you don't want it on there, you guys, but I want to see it. Okay. Have seen it. Okay, so that's how you pepper in by mm-hmm. just being in the mix on the mm-hmm. move, sliding through gracefully. Mm-hmm. All right, you have something else, Sly? Oh, okay, anybody else have anything else? Oh, what? I'd like to shout out, mm-hmm. he said, T Law. I'd like to shout out my people. Uh, who are your people? We know, you know, my picky, we know your picky, even though you're older than you, yeah, we <laughs> know Puma. Uh, everybody in the tribe, that's my family too. I love all of y'all. Everybody, and then everybody in the African community choir. I'm gonna get y'all to this. Y'all, my family. And Olga, Auntie Olga, I love you. Thanks for putting me in your music video. Yeah. I love this. Um, they're going ahead because I was gonna do shout out at the end, but it don't matter. You can shout out whenever you want to. So feel free as we continue to go. Shout out. It's the slot. She she said that he is flat. Yeah. And then we said that shit. We look into his heart. No, we look into eye. That's what I said. We look into his eye. We he telling all the lies. <laughs> <laughs> all right, y'all ready? This is on you. My son, 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 this is on you. Put my dick out in the Power sauce on a Sunday, I can really feel my gut If I miss it with the fufu, it would make my belly bust I be trying to figure out why these niggas be fucking me I don't step in dirt, I make sure I keep my scoopies clean